Well, there isn't hardly a, a day goes by here uh, in this city when there isn't a violent crime. Um, and if you look at this year already, there have been 99 carjackings, and the number of cars stolen is double what it was this time a year ago. And it's not just car theft. Uh, violent crime is up 25 percent uh, year over year here in Washington, D.C. Uh, and this is a, an issue that cries out for a solution. And I think that um, anybody who, as the leader said, works here, lives here, visits here, uh, would like to have a community that is safe. Um, and this isn't just unique to Washington, D.C. From cities across this country, from New York to Seattle, uh, you see particularly a lot of our populated areas around the country are experiencing the same uh, wave of crime uh, as a result of soft on crime policies. And so this, is, this has got to stop. Um, we have a constitutional authority, legislative authority, here over the District of Columbia, and we're going to exercise that this week. As the leader pointed out, the resolution that will be on the floor here um, very soon tomorrow is one that I think will enjoy broad bipartisan support because the Democrats have recognized what we all know and what the American people know, and that is that you can't have, continue to have uh, policies where uh, politicians put, or basically put politics ahead of public safety, um, where you've got prosecutors who are not putting people away, and, um, and an environment that is permissive and encourages this type of criminal uh, activity in a lot of our major cities across this country. So we're going to make that statement uh, tomorrow, and again, I believe it will be a big bipartisan vote, and it should be, uh, because the message needs to be sent clearly to the American people that, uh, you know, policymakers here in Washington, D.C., that their elected officials get this and understand how important it is that there be a strong response uh, to the wave of crime that's been experienced across this country and that we intend to do something about it, starting with Washington, D.C.